Hi guys, welcome. I'm back with my another tutorial. In this tutorial, what we, what we will be doing is we will be converting a part model into sheet metal. As of now, we are in the part model uh, option. Okay, what I will show you how to start it. First, pick any uh, create a part model. Okay. Uh, so what I have chosen is I have chosen a rectangle so that I can show you how a rectangle can, can be converted into a sheet metal okay then pick here as 150 you can pick any value go here take this pick as 150 okay then this is done you can see clearly here that we have created a part model okay now in part model what we have is when you go to option operations we have something called as convert to sheet metal okay so here we have driving surface we have shell i will pick shell okay and i will pick the surface which i don't need i'll pick this one so we have a sheet metal now it will be created into shell and it will ask us which side you want to add your thickness that outside or inside i will pick the default one i will say okay now we have moved from part model into sheet metal option sheet metal background okay this is not done yet because this cannot be used to create a flat pattern so what we will do is we will go to bend edge okay then we will click on this 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 and this okay and this is what we are actually doing here is we are adding bend radius okay so then it is equal to thickness you can change if you want we will accept the default and say yes okay this is not only outside this has also been added inside now we will use another option called as rip edge rip and then we'll pick the surfaces which will act as flanges okay you can see this that these have been added as flanges to our model now in rip we have multiple options open is there gap is there overlap and blind what is open it is just a gap then we have blind blind in that we have we can set gaps with respect to the edges then we have gap gap can be 0.5 of thickness two of two or two times thickness or equal to thickness i'll accept as 0.5 okay then overlap okay we don't want overlap we'll accept as gap okay say yes then a sheet metal is not a sheet metal without what you can say uh, corner relief so we will go to corner relief and in corner relief also we have number of options no relief v notch circular rectangle or round. i will pick circular okay and i will pick the option as intersection of bend lines and i will accept it as two times the thickness so then my sheet metal is ready now see we started with a part model okay extrude then we came, we converted it to sheet metal in web by going to operations in operations in part modeling only we will be having the option as convert to sheet metal then we enter into sheet metal um, module we use edge bend to give uh, op, uh, to obtain bend bend uh, radiuses then we create uh, rips whichever we want to convert as flanges okay flanges or flats we have this and then finally corn relief once this is done we will check whether the sheet metal is ready or not by clicking on flat pattern there it is so our flat pattern is available that means we have successfully converted a part model into a sheet metal okay thank you guys thank you very much